Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy, and I'm here with... Tori! Figure out the spelling yourself. And today, we're overclocking the already impressive Intel 13th Gen i9 13900KS CPU in this incredible Ironside build. We worked with the team at Ironside to beef up this PC with some incredible components to see just how far we can push these new incredible processors. But first, let's get into the specs. Let's start with the 13th Gen i9 13900KS with a base clock of 3.2 gigahertz and a turbo clock speed of six gigahertz. Dang. With 32 gigs of Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB RAM at 5600 hertz, it is also compatible with Intel XMP 3.0. And then we have the GPU, which is a PNY RTX 4090. Nice. See, you said PNY, I was thinking pony. Where are my horse girls at? This one's for you. And then connecting everything together, we have an ROG Strix Z790 Extreme motherboard coming from Asus with our M.2 storage coming from Kingston at two terabytes. Two terries. Two terries, two. And then keeping everything nice and cool is the NZXT Kraken RGB AIO, which it really is beautiful, mm -hmm. isn't it? Legendary, mythical, just like the great beast of the Kraken itself. Yes. All these should allow us to reach some ridiculously impressive benchmarks later in the video. But first, let's learn a little bit more about this build from our friends over at Ironside. Oh, oh this, that this way, yeah. My name is Alec. I handle the marketing over here at Ironside Computers. Our whole thing is we want to just make computers that just stand out, things that people want to, you know, show off on their desks and actually like have part of their setup. Our main goal is we just want to make a gaming PC for every gamer, basically. So give a little backstory. We have what we refer to as, as the masterworks. Basically, it's our line of systems where we're able to let our design team really just kind of flex what they're able to do. And the juice box actually was originally one of those. Um, people really liked them and we brought them back as, uh, as a limited edition. So what was the inspiration behind this line of chassis? One of the big things that um, was brought to us was like, hey, um, we want to be able to fit larger components inside of there because they were uh, designed in an ITX uh, form factor case. So the uh, juice box has been reimagined in a larger ITX case. So you can fit your full size ATX components, 40 series cards, Intel processors, get all the proper cooling that you need. What do you think of the 13900KS processor? They're fantastic. I, I love them to death. With the 13900KS in there, out of the box is going to be able to clock up to uh, boost clock up to six gigahertz. No problem. Well, since we are overclocking, what can you tell us about the cooling? We got some of the best uh, AIO coolers you can get. We got the Z73 Kraken on there. So not only is it gonna cool the CPU, but also if you wanna put some stuff on there to make your build even more aesthetically pleasing, which we did with the uh, the blue cherry blossom, it's right up that alley. So it's a awesome combination of performance as well as just a aesthetics. I usually deal with a lot of uh, different creators, influencers and stuff that need uh, solid builds. And my go-to is the 13900K. What do you use in your rig? Me personally, I actually upgraded my rig to 13th gen Intel. And so just on my day to day, I just noticed like even just every day, um, just opening things up and just overall system responsiveness, everything just feels like a little bit quicker and a little bit more responsive. I'm a big champion for 13th gen. I really do like uh, what they have or else I wouldn't have it in my own system. <laughs> We absolutely love making the system. We think it turned out uh, awesome. Uh, and we hope you guys enjoy just cranking out as much performance as you can out of that build. Thanks, Ironside. Now that we have some more context, let's benchmark this baby. We're gonna run three benchmark tests to see how the CPU comes out of the box. And then we're gonna benchmark it later after we overclock it. Biceps like crazy. The three tests we're gonna be using today is gonna be Cinebench R23, Geekbench 5 Pro, and 3 Mark CPU test. Let's check out these benchmark speeds. For Cinebench R23, we had a single core of 2,227 points. For multi-core, we had 34,491 points. Then we move on to Geekbench 5 Pro, which should give us a single core of 2,203 and a multi-core score of 25,440. Finally, we ended with 3D Mark getting CPU test scores of 19,413. Now, to overclock this desktop, we use Intel's Extreme Tuning Utility, which allows us to do automatic overclocking, really simple and easy to do, and these were our results. So for Cinebench R23, we got a single core score of 2,301, 
But for multi-core, we saw a huge jump up, going to 40,782. Then for Geekbench 5 Pro, we got a single core score of 2,298 and a multi-core score of 25,800. Clean number. And for 3D Mark CPU test, we got a 20,292 score. Okay. And just so you understand those percentage increases, on Cinebench R23, on that single core, you're seeing a 3% increase, and on that multi-core, an impressive 18% increase. Double digits. Oh! And on Geekbench 5 Pro, that single core is a 4% increase, and on that multi-core, it's a 1.4 increase, which, already an impressive CPU, and you're getting that extra boost. Yep. And on that 3D Mark CPU test, it's a 4.5% increase, bringing it all together for an impressive CPU. Now that we tested out some benchmarks, maybe let's get into some gaming. Really? Finally? This is where I shine, so you get to see the visuals of what kind of power you're getting with this baby. So just on the loading screen, we're hitting that 59 or 60 FPS. We're at 260 something right now, and it keeps jumping up to closer to 300. Holy crap. 357, it's only going higher so far. What if I just, 377. Okay, let's drive one of these things. Wee! Okay, right now we are still holding steady at 300 FPS. This is amazing. It's smooth, there's nothing laggy here. I've never seen this kind of resolution before and granted I play a lot of games on console or on my MacBook Air, so this is a huge, huge, huge bump up there. Look at this explosion. <gasps> Every single little speck, nothing is out of place. It just really immerses you even more into the realism. Fire! Whoa! Even in the water! Oh my god! Let's try some shooting then, just so we can compare what it's like playing on this kind of FPS. Boom, boom, boom. Because normally, even just when you're making quick motions like this, there's a blur. This is so accurate. And right now we're at 201 FPS just from shooting back and forth. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, bow. Yep, still at 200 FPS. That was at about 206. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah, oh my God. And even right now, as I'm in between all these enemies, it's still at about 250 FPS. Go, go, go. All these dummies are going down. This is gonna take you to a whole new level. Truly, with your own system, there are no excuses anymore. After playing with this Intel i9-13900KS CPU, I can't play with anything else that isn't gonna be this kind of resolution. It's incredible, and truly, this feels like the future in my hands right now. Thank you again to our friends at Ironside for sending us this one-of-a-kind build. To be entered to win this build, click the links in the description below. And if you want to pick up your very own Intel Core i9-13900K SCPU, check out those links in the description below. And while you're there, why not subscribe to the bell so you never miss another video from us. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.